in this series. Why is your dad so sad lately? Because it was broadcasted that from now on all homeless animals would be caught and taken away deep in the forest. That's why daddy decided to help poor ones and build a shelter for them. That's a brilliant idea. We'll also help. I have no doubt that you will help. But daddy has to work for 200 years to build a shelter like that. Now we know why your dad is so reflective. I have an idea how we can help Daddy Pig with building. How? We have to find treasures. We need a map to do this, but we don't have it. How can we search for treasures without a map? It's easy. We'll go to the forest and find a flammy flower there. Our treasures will be right under it. What if the wolves attack us? The wolves are just half the trouble. The most important thing is not to meet a red monster who protects this flower. It's a little bit scary. That's no reason to despair. We'll distract him with Mummy Pig's flavory spy. But we can freeze to death and get lost. What should we do? We'll take a compass and matches. And how will we light a fire without adults? Matches are not toys for children. So let's take Daddy Pig with us. He'd love to go. Sure, sure. sure. Well, let's, let's do, do let's that. Do that. And what way do we need to go? We have to go north. And how will we know where is north? We'll find out with a compass that I took. Got it. We should go more to the right. It's better to light a fire. Come on, team, let's go and get some firewood. Why is everybody so scared of a red monster? I was told a legend about it. Many thousands of years ago a bandit lived in this forest. He was taking money and gold from inhabitants. So they decided to punish him. And how did they do that? They tried everything to take their things back. But they couldn't catch a bandit. Then they decided to ask a witch to help them. A real witch? Yes, 
but nobody could predict the consequences. Like, like what? what? A witch was young and she didn't have time to learn all the spells. She made a horrible red monster instead of changing him into a stone. That's it. What a story. It's getting creepier. And what about treasures? Did somebody try to find them? Yeah, they did. Even knew the treasures we buried under a red flammy flower. So did somebody find? They tried, but ones who went to the forest never came back. And where did they disappear? Maybe a monster cut the mandate. Teddy, enough now. You scared everybody, so nobody would sleep. I want to go nowhere anymore. Can we please come back home while it's not too late? Oh, girls, they are just fair tales. Right, Teddy? I wouldn't affirm that. Teddy! Yeah, probably. It's just somebody's fable. Okay, let's sleep. This is a red flower. It means we should dig here. As for me, it's a chest. Hurry! 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 Let's be quiet, because you never know. Daddy, are you starting to scare again? Better dig. The bandit took treasure in a wrong way. Maybe it would be better to leave them. Peppa, we will use them for good. Daddy, they're behind you. It's... What? Okay, give me Mommy Pig's pie. Yeah, Teddy, you brought too much with your story. That's what a legend says. This is an Kylosaurus. He lived in the Cretaceous and ate only plants. What does he have on his tail? Oh, this is a famous club which he used for protecting from predators' attacks. Like Tyrannosaurus? You're absolutely right. are not fables. <laughs> and what do we need to do? Do we have more pie? Yes. Give it to me. 
I'll put some soporific. Let a monster get some sleep. Thank you guys, these treasures will be enough not just for a shelter, but for a car and a huge ship for homeless animals. <laughs> <laughs>